Okay, well, hello and welcome back to our second scenario in War of the East here. We're back on the road to Smolensk, and we've had, uh, so far, a pretty good turn one. Managed to surround the, uh, the, 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 the Russian border troops, we managed to destroy them, and we are moving on to Minsk in a nice, orderly fashion for the most part. So... After turn two, the the Russians here will try to pull back as best as they can, and from the looks of it, they are actually abandoning Minsk over here. And what the AI will try to do here is that it'll, it'll try to pull back, and it will try to delay the German forces long enough so that they can set up on these river lines of the defense. And with that said, it is our job to kind of match them in that and try to go, uh, or try to beat them across these river paths, and ultimately. Um, well, trying to try to uh, try to encircle more of their forces in the meantime. So it is turn two, week number two. We still have uh, the element of surprise. The Russians, from the looks of it, take it, have taken minor air losses, but on the ground they've already lost around yeah 263,000 men, and uh, I'm, as I'm sure we've captured a lot of vehicles as well. So that kind of sets the stage for another movement forwards. Right. So let's take a look at what we can do. So, um, up here inside the north, a lot of the units that we've seen uh, belonging to what would be the, uh, the, the the forces going north to Leningrad, some of them are set to this uh, withdrawing phase now, meaning that they will uh, do exactly exactly that to try to pull back and they'll actually retreat. So, with that said, they will just kind of they'll, that'll be that'll be kind of an early. Uh, an early briefing for you. They'll disappear, but they'll take uh, well. They'll, ta they'll take some time before they they actually disappear off of the map. And I think it's three or so turns there. So with that said, they will just let them do their thing. And in the meantime, let's see. Where is the where is the HQ from from here? That's what I'm wondering about. Okay. <clears throat> So while they would kind of move back, we're going to get some of our forces to push slightly further. And in the meantime, if we still have these forces, we still have those three turns, and we can get them to do a few kind of fairly minor things here just to, just to kind of speed uh, our progress in the middle of the map here along its way. So I'm going to get them to move up. I'm going to get them to clear up some minor uh, territory along the front here. Get us to uh, pull up these forces as well. And now for the rail network, we're going to get this to, because it doesn't impact us too much inside this scenario, we're going to get this to route towards the uh, the center of the map here, whereas in the um, in the road to Leningrad video, we, man we, we, we would ordinarily put this up towards the north. So we'll send that down here. And starting on turn two, you see that the motor pole is getting smaller because uh, from from a, from a variety of different things, what is likely happening is that some units or some of the trucks have been converted for the purposes of carrying those supply dumps and some other things coming along. So with that said, when this happens, um, then you start to run into a few issues with the supply thing. Namely, we need uh, another 20, 28,000 vehicles for, for everything to be uh, moving at an ideal pace now. So going forwards, uh, we're going to get the airfield to switch gears and we're going to get them to go to the reconnaissance stage. I'm going to get them to take pictures around what I think are the central portions of the enemy's lines. And I'm going to get them to do this quite thoroughly. I want to check where exactly the enemy is kind of defending the river. And from the looks of it, over here near the very, near, near the very edge of Smolensk is, um, is kind of where they're forming up. So we know about that. Uh, chances are is that we won't be able to reach them in one turn. But you know what? That is just something that we'll have to deal with because there's no way we'll be able to make such a, such a kind of a fast push here in time. So again, we start off with the units near the uh, the rearmost front first. We'll get this thing to move up um, as we go along here. And okay, so this one controls mostly infantry. So uh, I guess in that case, we'll get the infantry to push up, get them to clear again the vast majority of kind of the the the, the enemy front here away, 
and I'm gonna get the HQ to settle on down somewhere, somewhere right around here. I would rather it if there was a way to only see HQs inside the game, so then you can kind of reposition them beforehand, but there is not, so we'll go with something like that. And now, we'll see how far we can kind of push up here. So, let's begin with uh, these guys. I'm gonna get them to come back to a central tile. and we'll get them to combine. Likewise, over here with the tanks, we want we want to combine these forces when they move because uh, I find I find that they're much more efficient when they do. So, specifically, we're going to try to advance right down this road network, this uh, this rail network. So, we'll get them to clear that. Push forwards through here, try to go towards the river crossing. And ideally, next turn, these forces will be able to cross, hopefully secure another crossing into uh, Gomel over here, and then sweep around towards the north for, uh, for, for a swift kind of crush there. So now, we should probably leave off some of these uh, other units. We might want to say for example take off these infantry units from the panzer uh, corps and kind of get them to to be set aside for uh, for another hq for the infantry units to pick up and use right so we get the tanks to move forwards over here and try and see what they can deal or you know what's around them and what they can deal with and as you can see here, once uh, once you start getting uh, right next to to kind of infantry units and things, just in general across the rivers, then the fighting becomes really, really rather difficult. So um, I could make the river crossing right now, but you know what? I honestly feel as though it would be better if we could just stockpile all of these units. So I'm gonna get those two to um, so to just to wait up here for the next turn. Right now, I'm gonna check out uh, Minsk over here. From the looks of things, it's cleared. So you know what? We're gonna leave it at that. And I'm gonna take a risk here. And uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna see whether or not we can push up the Panzer Group uh, Center to Minsk. And what this will do is that supply will run through the city. Um, the, the HQ, instead of drawing off of the rail system, will start to draw out of all of the all of the uh, the supplies needed here, and push it through these units. So that'll be slightly more efficient, and that'll give us. Uh, the ability to kind of go off the rail network for now but again supplies are uh, well very very important in this game and that's still nevertheless only kind of a temporary measure so um because we liquidated the pocket on the first turn we've bought ourselves some time and with that said from the looks of things the infantry units back here can move forwards towards the front over here we should be able to just you know quickly cross this pocket in a very very minor amount of time and get these forces stacked up into, uh, well, the area over there. So, same thing. We're gonna get these units to stack up. And the reason why I'm not kind of moving our forces here at the, the most, the utmost speed is A, I would rather these be really, really, really organized pockets. And B, let's let's just check whether or not our forces are in supply, and they are, so that's good. And B, it helps us uh, kind of set up for, for the next part here. So, those guys are, are fairly well off over here along the front, or we haven't moved our tanks just yet. So let's take a look at what they can get to. So again, we want us to encircle down here, and we have two different routes we can do, uh, where we can go through here. We can go through the north, we could probably breach the, the river over here and cross over, and then kind of do a broad sweep around to see uh, whether or not we can grab anything there. Or we could go the shorter path. The idea being that if we go over the river, um, that'll take time, but at the same time, that'll, that'll kind of secure the river crossing for later on. If we go around here and, and we're blocked, then we run into the issue of, you know, what are we going to do um, and later on. So, you know what? 
here's what I think I'll do. I'll send one uh, squad of tanks and, you know, other things around here. And we're going to get them to clear around the river, whereas the other force is kind of uh, going to go the other way here. So we'll get this HQ, the L, the, um, yeah, this one, to to do exactly that. And the other one, we're going to get them to um, move forwards here. So let's see. Yeah, over here, I want them to start pushing through. And just kind of doing damage for now. There we go. So yeah, on this side of the river, they are starting to build up some fortifications. And this is kind of where the uh, your your forces become really rather difficult to to, to deal with. So we'll send that forwards like that, and over here, I see some routing troops, so I'll be able to hopefully crush those guys really, really fast. If I just move my forces around here, take out the security battalion, try to avoid these uh, swamps as best as I can. And over here, who knows, we might even be able to um, encircle just a small amount of uh, Russian troops. So for now, we'll grab another mechanized division, push them through here. And just, just, tr just try to clear up anything that there is over here. Right, and from the looks of it, over here is kind of where our uh, troops will settle down for the day. So we'll, we'll isolate this unit, because we can. Put the HQ right over there. Over here, these people are still linked up, but uh, we're actually either way over here. This doesn't link up. So this works out pretty well. And with that said, the rest of our forces will just continue their advance. And we'll get them to be able to push forwards uh, soon enough. So taking a look at the railway crossing over here. They should be able to supply fully inside this um, highlighted area. And so far we've made quite a few kind of deep plays into this area. So you know what? I think it wouldn't do us too much harm if we were able to move up all of the HQ or the, the, the higher end HQs over there. Likewise over here, we'll do this as a long term type of move or uh, something to kind of fa facilitate more stuff later on. Likewise, down here, this goes all the way here, so we'll get these set up. And over here, we will get these guys to stack up. And what this should set up is uh, next turn. Um, pink here, they, they don't retreat, so they'll be able to set up around here and block uh, whatever comes by, not that I doubt or I think anything will. And in the meantime, green with whatever they have will start, will be able to, to start to move up. And this will get them ready for the turns to come. We'll get some of the security battalions to move into the area. And from the looks of things, there's still some infantry left behind, so we'll get those guys to move forwards too. The rest of the high HQs and airfields and the such, um, we could move forwards right now, but at the moment, Anything out here is out of the way anyways. So I think we'll end the turn now. The idea being that uh, next turn, ideally the infantry will be able to move up to kind of where our tanks are at right now. And then tanks will be able to move and uh, push to, to, to begin forming one of the pockets around Smolensk. And then kind of chaining that off going into the next turn. Um, finishing one of those pockets and starting, uh, and, and then we kind of 
begin to to crush some of these uh, these forces around Smolensk. Okay, well, would you look at that? So, um, yeah, unfortunately, during enemy turns, you can kind of peek at what they're doing. But as you saw there, they're, they're starting to pull back again, and they're making a line near Smolensk, and they're also making a line further back. So this is kind of what the AI does. It knows that, again, again, you, you, it, can, it can't stop the, the German force. So what it'll try to do is make these multi-hex wide uh, barriers where it'll, it'll try its best to slow you in this type of... Um, play so we've already seen one pocket there here is a is an area that we can choose to or hopefully choose to form a smaller one um, if you notice the purple troops have pulled away so we don't so we don't get them anymore and over here these infantry units we can push forwards so we can get them to cap some of the territory really that's all they can do and now I'm gonna move the uh, the blue units first here We'll get them to push forwards. It looks like Minsk was taken back. So, but, so that's, yeah, so that's rather unfortunate. Um, more so because it would have pushed back our, uh, our, our Panzer Group HQ. That's the, these two units are pushed back over here. They, they still seem to carry a fair amount of fuel and all that. So that is good. We'll relocate them uh, over here once again. Um, the thing that I'm wondering about is taking a look at our HQs down here, whether or not they're getting all the supplies they need. And from the looks of things they did, they did in time. So this is good. This means that uh, despite the fact that one of our HQs were pushed back um, before logistics could happen, we were able to still nevertheless be able to refresh uh, our, our units, which which makes a lot of, uh, which yeah, makes a lot of difference here on this turn. So now, try to get uh, some of the infantry here to set up a bit of a barrier and we'll get them to push on the isolated uh, troops here and we'll get the rest of the forces to just move forwards here clear out all of these there's a fortification here so we'll get rid of that and we'll clear out these tiles to make it easier to move troops in the future and from the looks of things, the rest of this stuff, I, I'm just going to chuck forwards. So, here, we'll get these guys to set up a river defense line. Yeah, and here's kind of uh, the part where the game gets a bit messy with all the units on the front. And we'll get the, uh, I believe this is, yeah, the Gross Deutschland Motorized Regiment. These guys were one of the premier German units during the war. We'll get them to move forwards, and we'll get them to check out the crossing over here. So they're at the crossing. Um, they don't seem to be able to say what they see, but I, I would imagine that there's a fair amount of units right over here. Um, so we'll take a look at that, and we'll take a look at what we can do to kind of break through there. So, in the meantime, let's get this unit to sw swap by. Luckily, from the looks of things, this is still just a just a very minor port of the front. So we'll get our tanks to push through here, and then we can either then we can start to move them upwards, which is quite nice. So I think we'll do something like that. We'll just wrap around there for now. Find the HQ for them, we'll move them forwards like that. That'll give them their supply throughput. And now, taking a look at some of the other units here. Alright, well, if these guys have to stay on this side of the river, we'll push them up like that. Yeah, I think we'll move this unit forwards as well, get them to push here. And now, I don't think we'll go to Gomo anytime soon. Instead, we'll try to make the drive around here. And try to push through the uh, the southern bit. 
So we'll get our units to stack up over there. I don't think there's any harm in doing so. We'll get these guys across the river. And now let's see. So the infantry unit definitely can't move. Over here, we would have eight movement points left if we do this. That is fine with me. And now I think we split this unit up into smaller bits. We'll put one right there. And the other two will split up. Probably should have shattered that one first. That would have been that would have been the best choice. But we can form a smaller pocket here for all of the routing troops. And we can get rid of that. And on this turn, what I'm what were what I would like to do right here is that I'm trying to figure out where exactly the uh, the bulk of the the Russians are. I'm guessing they're still around here. So yeah, there's still a lot of stuff here, and we can we can make a push through here. We can still grab a, a few of their units. So with that said, that is kind of what I would like to do. So now that the uh, the recon comes through, might be able to push enough stuff out the way to buy our buy ourselves a strip of uh, land here. So now this pocket it won't be as big as the uh, the other ones, but nevertheless, this will this will still be a fair amount of units kind of. Um, swapped up in one go, so that's 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 good enough with me. Now over here, could actually move this unit closer to the front. That would, yeah, that would get us more supply to uh, the relevant units. So there. Right, and for now, so long as we have supplies from Minsk, we should be good to continue. And the railway is stemming forwards at about 3 to 2 tiles per turn, so it should be in Minsk um, within, eh, within due time. Okay. So over here, let's get the uh, airfields and things set up. These guys, I believe, they will retreat uh, in a few. It were should be in a few turns, not immediately. So we can move them up, and they'll still serve their use for the most part. Same thing, kind of over here. Get them to push through. Get rid of the, uh, the the huge swaths of territory right there. And we can set this up for next turn. Hmm. So now, two other things that we could do is link up uh, these Panzer units with these guys right over here. And in the meantime, I'm thinking about getting green to relocate to this front. And next turn, we'll be able to use the tanks up here to push through, make another smaller pocket, and then kind of close up on those units right over there. Yeah, so, th th so those are the, the two things that I'm trying to go for right now. Um, so with that said, let's grab that and we're, you know let's try to make that happen. So let's grab all of these. Want to get them across the, uh, the the river here. I don't want them to set up for another thing. Okay, so motorized core. We'll move that up as far as it can. Right, and ideally this will... This will allow us to, to set up next turn. And I think that's all they 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 do here. Let's grab these infantry units. Let's get them to crush this pocket. Yeah, and that'll force a lot of surrenders. Perfect, there we go. 
get them to regroup again across those rivers because those take a lot of movement points and at the end I don't I don't really care if it causes more fatigue to cross those because they're more trouble than they're worth and we can take a look at the uh, the network over here for supply but I think all of our HQs are under um, the radius so supply throughput should get through in a, in a quite quite a nice fashion so this is good I'm gonna get the tanks over here to stock up but I won't advance them just yet. I could get them to kind of brawl it out with some of the units on the side, just using hasty attacks. And the reason being that I want to um, I want to keep those fortification levels here low. So so far they haven't formed. So this is pretty good. So now on the actual offensive here, might be able to just take this place. Um, or maybe not. They're, they 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 still haven't dug dug in properly so here what we can do is that we can kind of clear up these units um, we can front forwards this unit and then kind of you know balloon them up again so that they they take up more width than they they would ordinarily likewise and that should be able to contain a lot of those forces so this 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 pocket over here it uses up less space than I had thought it would. So in that case, I think I'll move up our forces like that, and that should set us up for another turn. So currently our motor pool is going down. That is just grad. Uh, that is just kind of the effects of this this war and its its toll on the supply lines. Um, but that'll that'll rebound. In the meantime, uh, currently I would like a lot more supplies to these guys soon enough but i think we'll just keep them where they are for now we'll destroy the two forces which are trying to make um kind of or no this area is clear okay wanted to try to pin down the forces making uh these these entrenchments but seeing as how they're non-existent i think we'll get our tanks to set up another another wall really over here uh, the people putting supplies, I mean, it's okay if we collapse the front like that. And that should hold hold back a portion of these guys over here. It won't hold all of them back, but it'll, it'll make it so that um, they'll probably spend their turn crossing the river, hopefully, instead of doing anything super aggressive. In that case, it might be worth our while. We might be able to get our... if we push through this tile... I'm going to see whether or not we can make the moves to move our people around this river. And then I want to see whether or not we can perhaps make a second pocket here. So if I split up this force, it won't be able to push as far, eh? So I want to, I want to clear up over here. Yeah, and then smash that away. And then over here, we can get this unit to, to set up a few postings. And it looks like we're really close to towards kind of like sealing these people in. But this will be very, very close. So yeah, that doesn't just that doesn't cut it. But I I think we're able to exert enough zona control that ideal that one or two units there will still be trapped by uh, the fact that it just costs so much to move between zones there. So they they might be able to slip away here, and if they do, they'll it'll it might cause one of our troops to go out of the supply net temporarily. So that'll make them very immobile uh given the fuel type of thing next turn but nevertheless this will this should hopefully finish off a decent amount of their troops yeah so taking a look at that top pocket it looks like a lot of them are kind of stalled on crossing the river and um and just in general that one tile gap where they have to kind of cross at so that's good that eliminates, um, from the looks of it, up top a lot of uh, a lot of infantry units, which is good. Those guys slow down, or you know, that's the most of uh, the enemy's defenses. And from the south, I hope what we've captured there isn't mainly just HQ units and stuff like that. 
uh, because that would be bad. If it's just kind of HQs, we yeah they 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 get them back. HQs gradually re replenish. I mean, nevertheless, it uses enemy resources, but getting uh, other units is kind of my priority here. So I'm sure the losses are quite severe. This, from the looks of it, are you know there's still a few decent units in there, but I mean, from the looks of things, the vast majority is still kind of fluff. Up over here, like I said, uh, these uh, these 16th Army guys they don't seem to disappear right away so we can still use them and we'll use them to full effect we'll try to really push up these forces try to do some damage there get rid of some of these tanks and one of the good things here is oh my would you look at that we captured 126 units of fuel there that is really good that will hopefully go to the the tanks down south one of the good things about these guys is that, I mean, while, you know, they're temporary forces for us, they do cause the enemy to pull back, they do cause a lot of routing, with that said, that still does damage um, in the long term, I mean, in the long term, you've probably sent these guys north already, but uh, if you haven't, this would cause a fair amount of damage all along the front for them. So let's see, what can we do here? We want to capture this one tile and ideally the portions next to it. So you know what, we'll do that right away. Push you, we'll push through here. And we'll, yeah, we'll try to make this area bigger before we split up our, our tank units. And now here, I think we make the crossing and we make this a full seal. The reason being is I'm not really sure if we can lip, uh, if we can kind of liquidate all of this in time, but we might. So we get those guys to move forwards, and then we just try to uh, crack this as is, really. Right, so I'm not too worried about liquidating this pocket right away. Right now, I think doing some damage to all of these uh, routed units would be also pretty good. And while it doesn't like show up, but as you as you kind of push on these routed units, some of them do indeed break. Some of them do indeed shatter, so they won't be uh, they won't be coming back. Or they won't be coming back for uh, for quite some time, is what I should say. So yeah, we'll push forwards here. And now ideally we'll be able to cycle these guys through. And yeah, I think we keep things like that for now. And over here we get the infantry to do their thing. So we get them to push. And if you read the top ledger here, it looks like the vast majority of units kind of are, are getting killed off. I know it seems as though their enemy that a lot of the enemy units are routing behind the enemy lines here on the map. But taking a look at the top bar here, and, and you, you know, honestly, I don't really know how this works, but um, so they lose all of their infantry, all but four of their artillery, or yeah, all of but four of their artillery pieces and all of their AFVs. So technically, this unit is destroyed. That, or it, I've I've always un, under the I've always been the, under the assumption that the men power over here, the, uh, the the amount of men, are the people crewing the weapons and the guns and stuff like that. But in this case, I mean, the AFV crews and the artillery crews might be considered a different thing. So with that said, I mean, at the end of the day, we're still crushing these pockets. It's just that um, some of the troops are managing to escape, which makes sense. I mean, because these these turns do happen um yeah they, they're happening kind of simultaneously here right so with that said we we've, we've just closed the pocket during these you know seven days our turn really uh and with that said i mean during that time uh, some of the some of the forces could have broken through and could have escaped so yeah that's just a small detail anyhow we'll push forwards 
and we will try to do some damage over here. So at this point in time, I'm thinking, um, you know what? We should probably start finding a replacement for purple. And would you look at that? This almost makes another mini pocket up here if they decide to stay. So um, yeah, we'll get we'll get green to move some of its forces towards Smolensk for now. I suppose we'll chain that off. We'll just get them to gradually kind of mosey on down over here. There's not much we can do. Combine those forces right there. And now soon enough, we'll have to um, move up the, eight, the field HQs once again. So that'll just gradually happen. I'll try to get this uh, road to stem into the north for, for a while. The idea being that up here, hopefully we can come up against some of the easier uh, to, to move through railroad terrain instead of the stuff inside the south. And over here, it looks like we can base our uh, two HQs here than anything, just around Minsk. So that is good. That is very, very good. Right, and taking a look at the situation inside the south, we'll get these units, the, uh, the infantry here, to just kind of, you know, shimmy around. Let's grab a lot of the infantry here, get them to stock up. And they look to be slightly out of the uh, the range of the supply HQ in Minsk, so we'll leave that as is. Here, let's grab some more forces to push onto these guys, hopefully surrender, shatter them. Yep, there we go. And this is clearing them out pretty nicely, so that's good. Uh, let's see. What can we do over here? Uh, we'll get this thing to move over here. We can get these to put some pressure onto the pocket. And one of the things is that, um, I think I've mentioned this before, but you don't necessarily have to be inside the town to draw supplies from it. You can be one tile over. So you know what? Just to kind of min-max over here, we'll move slightly forwards towards the front. Um, I mean, in real life, it probably isn't worth it to pack everything up and shift it one kilometer, but in this, I guess it is. So we'll do that very small type of uh, adjustment, if you will, to help things out. Now over here, uh, let's see, let's grab GD. See whether or not we can make another hole here. Grab some more of our units, push them through. And that might just do it for uh, the, the, the Soviets over here. I think we moved enough stuff that they uh, that they might not be able to return. But we'll see. We'll see in due time. So over here, let's see. I'm going to grab the plane. I'm going to check out what exactly they are building here, because I know that they have a second line. And it is over here. Okay. So in that case, I think we get our forces to move closer towards it than anything. And with that said, a lot of the pocket stuff is kind of dealt with and over with, um, except for the, the one right kind of in the center there. So our forces, I believe, aren't needed there anymore. The bad thing is that this this puts us out of our supply reach for, for now. So, uh, you know what, that is problematic. We can move out here. Um, we might be able to airdrop supplies. No? No, okay, fair enough. Taking a look at the uh, the the Panzer Corps over here, they have some fuel dumps. They have you know a fair amount of supplies, but the question is whether or not it's enough. And I think the answer is no. Taking a look at Mogliev over here, there's some supplies there, and Smolensk would definitely have a lot of supplies. So, so we might be able to move next turn. So this is looking like. It'll take one turn for uh, for our forces to kind of get the supplies that they need. Um, so we'll, we'll we'll have to deal with one turn of perhaps not moving or something like that. So I think we we get our forces here to bash in, see what damage they can do. We get um, this Panzer Corps to firstly relocate momentarily, so I can kind of see what we're doing easier. Make the push here, try to go across the river, 
see what we have brewing over here. And if it's not too much, we try to move towards it, try to encircle it slightly. Smolenskis Garrison, that's an urban tile, so that'll be uh, some heavy city fighting. But then I think we just push these guys real hard, try to clear up anything that we can find here. And then I'm going to move my forces closer to the south here. Perfect. Um, this this town, Pin... I'm, I'm not going to even try. Anyhow, it has supplies. It has enough supplies for some of the troops here. And with that said, uh, we we can we can kind of like, yeah, we can we can use a bit of this. This will be out of the five turn uh, with the five tower range though, so that's not great, but it's better than nothing. Question mark? Question mark? Um, so we'll see. Over here we'll push. See how many losses we can we can kind of dish out. This is an appropriate encirclement, so it looks like a lot of the troops uh, have managed to, to flee away. But that's fine, we can push them back. And for now, it looks like we'll we'll need to take a, a turn or so to set up for, for another assault uh, next next um, next time. So these guys will get them to set up. Yeah, so it looks like next turn we'll have to kind of regroup the uh, the Panzer units before doing anything else. So that'll yeah, that's just kind of a price we have to pay. But anyhow, things look like they're going pretty well so far. We managed to rack up almost yeah, well, more than half a million losses for the enemy. So yeah, it'll definitely take one more turn for the infantry to arrive, we can kind of synchronize that with some of uh, the stuff that we have going on. Um, taking Smolenisk here I think is a bit of a priority, but also clearing up all of the units in the north there. So let's see what we can do here. Um, hmm. So ideally we'll be able to clean up all of these uh, very small kind of units here with just this one tank unit yeah they're they melt on away on this side of the river but they probably won't give up as easily on the other one here this might yeah this might need uh, an entire division to, to clear away with yeah sorry folks there's a you know really loud car outside anyhow uh, we'll clear out all of that with these two then we can get this one unit, or one you know detachment here to move slightly forwards, clear out kind of a bulk of the uh, the units right at our doorstep. Get this motorized division, we'll form them up, and now let's see so a few more units. We can push this one up to clear out this blob. Um, move that one right over here for two tiles. And I suppose we could kind of surround Smolenisk. That's not going to, you know, bleed them for supplies or anything like that, but it makes it slightly easier for uh, for for some things to happen there next time. And over here, yeah, we just pushed back those units once again. And I think that is all for this turn. So the front here is a bit messy, but um, you know what? That's just something that needs to be needs to be kind of handled like that. Yeah, so some backlog of uh, units here. We'll get these guys moving forwards as well. And then, and then next turn we need to keep supplies going, so I don't think we'll do any major movements back here, but eventually we need to bring up the airfields. Um, so I think that'll be a separate video, seeing as how this will be the end of, well, part two of this scenario here.